Hi there, welcome to Spreadsheet Solving. In this video, you're going to discover how to make a prediction using Google Spreadsheets. Now in our prior two videos, you learned the slope and the intercept functions, and you also learned how to create a best fit line, such as the one shown here. Here are the data points and the best fit line. And just as a quick refresher, the best fit line doesn't necessarily pass through all the points, but it is the best fit line in such that the points above and below the line are just about the same. Now I am going to show you how knowing the best fit line and how to create it will in turn allow you to make predictions. In other words, you're going to use a trend line to make a prediction. In our data set, we've got the number of hours a student spent studying and the subsequent exam grade. So the number of hours you spent studying for an exam and the exam grade are, represent our data point. And as you had learned earlier, we created the best fit line using the equation of a line, the slope and intercept of which was calculated using the slope and intercept functions. Let me introduce you another way you can calculate the slope and intercept. And we can do that all using one function, which is the linest. The linest works the same way as slope and intercept. You start off with an equal sign followed by linest. And the first argument would be the y data points. In our case, the y data points would be the exam grade. Make sure you capture that range. And then the x data points would represent the number of hours spent studying. So I capture that range. If you click Enter, you will notice that using one function, linest, it outputs, gives you two outputs, and it gives you the slope and the intercept. So basically, there are two ways you can calculate slope and intercept. The first way is you use the individual function name of slope and intercept, or you just use the linest function, and it will calculate both for you. Now, as you've learned already, using the slope and intercept, you then create the best fit line shown here which is none other than y equals m, which is the slope, times the x, which is the hour spent studying, plus the intercept. Now, the question I want to address is, how can we make a prediction? How, what score do you predict a student will receive after studying, say in our case, let's say if you study 10 hours for an exam, what exam score should I ex expect, or what exam score do you predict? The way to do this now is to use that trend line or the best fit line equals y equals mx plus b, m being the slope times x, which is the number of hours spent studying, plus intercept. And so when you study 10 hours, you expect an exam score of 89 tough, tough exam. I'm going to keep the slope, or m, as an absolute reference, and also the intercept, because that will not change. So we predict if you study 10 hours, you will get a score of 89. Again, this is a hard exam. If you study 0 hours, what exam score would you predict? Well, I've already got the formula set up here. I'm going to control C, copy it, and paste it down. And here we predict a score of 37. Again, the prediction is a result of using a trend line. And in our case, this trend line represents the best fit linear line given all the data that we have. OK, so throw out any numbers you have out there. Imagine you study 15 hours. What kind of score, exam score, would you expect? I'm going to control C and copy this formula down. I would expect a score of 115, which uh, if 100 is the high score, um, that's way above the highest or the max score. Throw out other numbers. If you study three hours, what kind of exam score would you expect? And again, control C, control V, you expect a score of 53. So there you have it. You are able to predict 
what score you would receive after a given number of study hours. Great. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.